Hey, what's up guys, this is Andong. So by far the most requested video on this channel was how to make legit Berlin style döner kebab at home. But like, I live in Berlin. I am literally surrounded by döner. Like I breathe kebab air as soon as I get out the door. So the idea of making döner at home is uh, kind of absurd. <laughs> You see, I believe there's a way we can both get what we want. So here's the deal. I show you guys how to make legit Berlin style döner kebab at home, but I get to put my own twist on it. In fact, I already have an idea and it deserves a good soundtrack. Let's begin by what we all know is the most important part. How do we get that classic Berlin döner meat? There's one key factor. To make a classic döner kebab spice mix, we begin with a cup of yogurt. And to this, we're adding our aromatics. And, you guessed it, a sprinkle of MSG. And you might be asking Andung, why are you not using fresh herbs and veggies? It's so much better. And you would be right in a way. But remember, I'm not shooting for like a gourmet kebab here. I'm trying to recreate that classic Berlin street döner feel. That's not necessarily gourmet. Here I have veal and minced meat. The mince is actually a mix of beef and lamb and there's not much left to do with it, but the veal, that needs to be sliced real thin. So we can marinate it and then put it on a spit and then add around three quarters of your marinade to the veal and the rest to the mince. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the world's largest onion. And now, well, watch this. I wrapped the entire spit in plastic wrap and then just added a potato on top so the skewer doesn't pierce the plastic wrap. Actually make sure to wrap it real tight, it's gonna be important, you'll see in a second. But first it's time to hold that newborn döner baby for just a little bit because in a perfect world we would be marinating this thing for a few hours. But in real life, ain't nobody got time for that. Instead, here's the plan. So if you're new to sous vide, sous vide is the idea of taking vacuum sealed food uh, and, and submerging it in hot water until it reaches the desired temperature. So usually people do this with a very precise temp controlled machine, but, and you've probably seen this before, I'm gonna go the ghetto sous vide route and use a beer cooler. This seems like a good time to mention that you gotta make sure the plastic wrap you're using for the meat is actually heat proof. I'm just trying to get my meat to 70 degrees, at which temperature it should be close to, but not completely well done. And the way I like to work with this sous vide method is adding hot water until my sous vide temperature has reached just above 70 degrees. Then I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and watch the temperature until it has reached just below 70 degrees. With this method, the meat will actually have to cook for a total of at least three hours, which conveniently gives us the time to work on our toppings. So I did mention that I had a plan, didn't I? Time to reveal the idea. I wanna turn this into this. That's right, a döner kebab taco. But the idea is not actually that new. Over the last century, tens of thousands of people have migrated from the Middle East to Mexico, home of the taco. And of course, they brought their own foods and traditions and techniques with them. And thus, the taco al pastor, or tacos arabes, were born. A juicy fusion between Mexican and Lebanese food. So the thing about Berlin style döner sauce is this. It's freaking nasty. This is pretty much where all the hidden calories are. Why? Because it's like mayo, salt and sugar. Good thing we're doing a Mexican inspired döner. I'm going to be using two thirds sour cream and only one third mayo, which should give us a similar flavor, but just less gross. Making döner sauce can be so simple. A classic Berlin style döner kebab will always come in this döner bread. The question is, can I make this into a taco? I guess it's an option, but okay, sorry guys, I'm getting lazy here. This dish deserves a proper Mexican taco shell made from corn. Here's the thing though, you 100% need this, masa harina. What is masa? Thanks for asking. Listen, masa is nixtamalized corn. Sounds industrial? Well, you're wrong. Nixtamalization is the process of pre-cooking corn in an alkali solution. And that is some traditional ass shit. 
From way back, I'm talking like Aztec times. Because I don't want to completely lose that wheat flavor, I am also adding some wheat flour and of course a dash of salt. Tacos Arabes would actually be made with a wheat taco to resemble a pita bread. So it feels like we're on the right track here by doing a 50-50. At this point, the dough is very clay-like and you can't really roll it out like a wheat dough. Which is why by far the best way to make your tortillas is a tortilla press. AKA one of the very few uni taskers I'd definitely recommend. Line the press with a cut open Ziploc bag for a non-stick layer and then press a ping pong ball sized piece of our masa dough into a thin palm sized tortilla, rotating it around the press for evenness. If you don't have a tortilla press, don't worry, there are ways to get around that. You put the taco in a Ziploc bag, you put it between two cutting boards and then you stand on the cutting boards and just, you know, jiggle around a little bit until it's flat. Now if you want to get all fancy, you can stencil out a clean and round shape from your tortilla and now all we need to do is toast them in a well heated cast iron pan from both sides. No oil needed. And just one more thing, you want to make sure to keep them in a tortilla warmer or at least in some kind of plastic bag. It will make your tacos nice, soft and chewy. Now let's talk about toppings. A classic Berlin Döner will come with tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, lettuce and red cabbage. Let's keep it this way. Except I'm gonna turn these veggies over here into a Mexican inspired salsa by adding coriander and jalapeno. And then I'll quick pickle the cabbage over here with some lime juice. And by the way, as always, you'll find all the detailed ingredients in the description of this video. I need, I need the element of surprise. Hello everybody, let me introduce you to my beautiful girlfriend Clara. Happy Valentine's Day! Yay! You know what we're making today? Uh, no. I, uh, you make so many things, I don't know. We are making dinner kebab tacos. So, okay. So it's okay. This will go on the taco, but okay. the most important thing is still missing. The meat. Stay here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Okay. It is here. It's uh, liquid. Can I open it? Yes. Ah! Okay. I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man. Happy Valentine's Holy Day. Holy shit. Wait, I need to get this. <laughs> no. No, let the juices drip. <laughs> this is a potato. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. So this has been cooking sous vide for hmm. uh, a bunch of hours. In theory, it is entirely cooked through. Looks about right. Sous vide looks like crap when it comes out of the water, but you're supposed to like roast it, flame it. Okay. And that's what we're gonna do. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it appeared. Cool. Are you in charge of the fire extinguisher? I am in charge. I don't even know how to use this. <laughs> Check this out. This side, I think, I think this is working. It might be like just a little bit of an overkill, but... Let me like try to get this... Ah, oh, sorry, 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 holy ah, shit, holy shit, holy shit, shit. What the fucking hold it, where you Damn, it was a surprise, man, you fucking blew it. Ah. But it smells good. <laughs> Sorry. Just don't... Just... Ah. Hey guys, we're screwing with you. This is Gary, he just dropped by. He's my oldest friend, in fact. Yes. We've known each other since you were four. And I was eight. Yes. And Gary is an actor. Yeah, well. Which is... Woo! So this is a fake! <laughs> ah. It's... <laughs> but dude, the problem is I'm struggling a little bit with this um, spit. So I was gonna torch it, but it's like falling apart and I don't know how to cut it and everything. With a big knife? I don't know. There is a... There's one thing. Okay, drum roll. Here's a video, Gary. It's, it's loading. loading. <laughs> oh. oh. Hello, Gary. Bitch. Let's play a game. I'm not very good at the psychopath thing, but this is unknown from the past, and I was anticipating a few problems in our dinner making process. 
which is why I figured it would be a really good idea to have a solid plan B. What the fuck? Hallöchen! What? Oh shit! This is John Hunt? For what is this actually? For Martin. For Martin. I don't even have to be an actor to be surprised. What's the consistent? Shit. The perks of having friends with a food business. I have a feeling this thing will come in pretty handy. And... Wow! <laughs> Brand new. Uh, Can you travel through the past with it? <laughs> Time machine for a chicken! Yes! You can clearly see I've never used this before. Can you pull this out? God. <laughs> Hashtag Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. Crook it. Mm. Somebody's enjoying the dinner already. Mm. The house. A dripping at the house. house. We're hungry. You ready? Yes. I'm, I'm gonna turn it on. This is it. Man. Anti-climate. So that's a little bit. <laughs> Now, like every good döner man, I uh, make tacos. <laughs> I make, yeah. Here's my homemade döner sauce. Oh, oh yes, sauce it mm. good. Wow, this is like visibly better than döner meat. <laughs> is this gonna be satisfying? I don't know. You tell me. Salatales. Salatales. Dreifunzig Bruder. Nobody ever says that. Yeah, because you're not a Bruder. Yeah. yeah. Guys, it's time to grab one and try it. Can we really? Is it possible? Hours of work. Will they pay off? Let's go. Will they? Will they? Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Do not mm. My goal was to make this recognizable as Dona Kebab, but also a taco. But a little taco esque. For AP. AP, do you want one? Yes. AP has been holding the camera for the last hour. Gönn dir, Bruder. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly food inspiration from all over the world. Press that subscribe button. Mm. It's like all you need is a taco press, a rotisserie, and a torch. Yes. <laughs> it's very accessible.